we got a Zapier set up, but then it all starts with basically understanding uh, your video topics, right? So regardless if you use uh, chat GPT to do that, you talk to the subject matter expert slash business owner, um, you want to get your list of topics first. So if you think about it from the process, right? Once I have my video topics, how am I going to answer them within a 30 second limit or a 60 second limit, right? Okay. How, how do you pick your video topics? Yeah. So um, like we were saying before, right? Um, depends on the industry in itself. Frequently asked questions, should ask questions, kick ass questions is, is the, 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 the jump. That's the very, that's the very first step. So could I start off by essentially going to chat GTP and saying, hey, can you give me 30 FAQs that would be relevant for a bricklayer in Buffalo, New York? Yeah, you can. And if you think about it this way, too, the way in which we prompt chat GPT is a little bit different, right? Because mm -hmm. what we do first, we set the stage. So the very first thing I'm telling chat GPT to do is basically act as what? right? You are going to be my guide. You're going to be my assistant. But then in this case, specifically, what the prompt that I'm using here, just to kind of get, you know, us started with this conversation is act as an expert copywriter and video marketing consultant that helps clients with building their personal brand using short form video on social media. Okay. I so it's acting up. like you. Yes. That's how you set that up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me or my assistant, right? And then the very first thing I do is I ask it to reply if you understand or ask any follow-up questions. So I set the stage who you are, what you're doing, how are you going to be helping me? And then reply that you understand or ask me any follow-up questions for additional context. So chat okay. GPT responds, I understand your request. As an, and then it goes down and it basically says, this is what I understand. And this uh -huh. is the thing I'm going to need to move on to the next step, right? Okay. And I see you have certain plugins enabled on this chat. Are they relevant to the answers here or... Yeah. So um, with the recent, more recent updates to ChatGPT, you can't openly scour the web anymore. So mm -hmm. some of these uh, plugins allow you to at least pull in different, say, resources, whether they're from YouTube, from specific websites. It opens up GPT to doing more than what its, uh, its knowledge base is um, contained around. Mm. Okay. Right. So essentially what you're saying here is help me out you're going to be, you're going to be my guide here. You're going to help me kind of create it. Yeah. And if you didn't know those questions, this is one starting point in terms of how do you want to say, get some of those questions, right. For the topics for your videos, once you have the topics, right. Then the next step is, okay, how do I write a script that's confined in 30 seconds or 60 seconds and use a, um, a high converting copywriting hook? Well, okay. I have a list of hooks. Right. There's a list on this one Google sheet of 105. I think it was 104. Sorry. Um, 104 hooks that are highly converting across different industries. Right. Okay, so like these niche results speak for themselves. Don't Have believe it. this <laughs> niche. Don't believe this digital marketing myth. Your other digital marketers are lying to you. If you haven't heard this digital marketing news, you must be living under a rock. So these are all call-ins that would apply the same way if I said, if you haven't heard this uh, electrician news, you must be living under a rock. If you haven't heard this pro hockey player news, you must be under, like, it would basically apply for, for whatever industry. Can we look at the actual zap construction again, please? Yeah. So if you think about what you just did right there, Kevin, right, then that there's a nuance that requires expertise as well. Right. You have a topic and then you have a hook. And how do you basically fill in this template for the hook to match the industry and then write and then write a script around that? Right. Mm -hmm. That takes effort. So with the fact that we're using chat GPT now and we've already primed it to be an expert copywriter and video marketing consultant for that helps our clients write scripts for short form video used for social media. That's as specific as we can get. Right. So we're priming mm -hmm. it that way to say, help me do the heavy lifting. So I, I'm not sitting here trying to replace some or fill in the blanks, right? Because you already picked 100 that work, 105 that work. Right, so right. This is, this is what it is. I need attention in three seconds. These are proven to get me attention in three Absolutely. seconds. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So now we go into the process. That's all the zap is, right? So where the initial stage of it is, where are my inputs? For me, I wanted to put it in a place where I could readily get to, right? So for me, it was Slack. So I created a specific Slack channel right? Where open AI would then receive the prompt. So mm -hmm. what I'm doing in the Slack channel is I will then put in the video topic, right? So the video topic goes into the Slack channel. From here, chat GPT, in this case, I'm using open AI, right? Um, to then um, recognize that input. So from here, what happens is 
the very first thing, here's the prompt, and then I'll reverse engineer that. The prompt okay. is here, setting the stage for the prompt, right? You're a fun, smart marketing assistant who is writing short form video script for us. You can change all this as well and test it in terms of seeing how the output is, okay? Short form videos are this, you're already fine. Short form videos are 60 seconds or less, catchy and start with the hook. Write a script for a video about, that's the topic I put into the Slack channel, right? And then I wanted to start that uh, script by using a hook from, uh, using yes. the following hook to start. And that hook is from taken from that list on that Google sheet. Okay, so is it randomized from that sheet? Or 100%. Is, I have it randomized so on purpose. randomized so that it always comes up with something a little different? Yes. Okay, so what essentially what you're saying here is that if we open up a Slack channel that's connected to this Zap, what you're saying is, you know, like, I don't know if you say, write me a script about uh, lead gen follow-up or write me a script about, you know, how, uh, you know, why reviews are important to plumbers. Uh, mm -hmm. you, are you writing, write me a script? Or are you just saying, why are reviews? Are you can do it either way. Chat GPT is uh, smart enough to know, right? Um, but you can do it either way, directly as a command, right? Three reasons why reviews are important for um, a plumbing business, a local plumbing business, or write me a script for Fine. I would write that into a dedicated Slack channel, and then mm -hmm. that starts the trigger. That trigger is then going to send, is going to start this zap. Mm -hmm. It's going to go through this process and actually give us a 30-second uh, video script output as well as a 60-second output at the end. Yep, and the zap that we're looking at right now is, is a 60-second script, and I have another zap for a 30-second script. So the output okay, is so two different okay. scripts. Right. So there's two different zaps that are running. One workflow runs for a 60 second version. One workflow runs for a 30 second version. And because they're running in parallel to each other, meaning they're separate, right? The hooks that they use are going to be different, but the topics are the same. So you're going to have two different scripts to basically pick from with two okay. different. To, to just look at the setup here of this step, I'm looking DaVinci. So the model is text DaVinci 03. Mm -hmm. uh, the prompt makes sense. Temperature when you're saying 0.7. That's a temperature out of one. Uh, why have you set it at 0.7 as opposed to one? It's a test. I mean, the the higher you get to one, the more creative it's supposed to be. The lower the lower you get to zero, um, it's supposed to be more factual. So I played around with it, and that's something that anyone else can tweak, right? By default, we came out with we're set at seven, and it seems to work fine for the service based professionals that we write scripts for. Um, that I wrote scripts for when I created this uh, specific app. Okay, that that's very interesting because when I set it at one, I I found very very salesy output, mm. right? So that point seven keeps it a little kind of natural and keeps it. Um, it could be the prompt as well, though, right? It's usable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and then you're keeping a maximum length to three hundred words or three hundred characters. Yeah, three hundred. I think it's words. Words. Yeah, and that gives you your your uh, the correct time. Uh, top P is just where it shows up on the list. Yeah, and I don't know what the hell frequency, I don't know what these penalty things are. So I just ignore them. All right, so essentially you put it in and then it goes through the formatter, the the job of the formatter in mm -hmm. this app. What does that do? Yeah, the formatter basically is, that's really where you can um, allow chat GPT to pull from a CSV file, which effectively is what that hook C, uh, Google Sheet was. Mm -hmm. That's the only and way you do that it. actually because you take that C the CSV file and you email it to yourself and yep. then you connected it to, to Google essentially. And you said, anytime you're looking for this, go into my Gmail and look for this file. I've already uploaded, pick one of the, pick one of the, the jump off points, essentially pick one of the hooks that I've already decided, mm -hmm. then use chat TTP to make it industry specific and give me the output that I require. Right. Wild. I've done this. Like, to be honest, I know what we're talking about here. And even though I've set this up on my own and looking at it, it's still very complicated. But I've seen it where I've I've made 20 videos like this myself. I know it works. But I don't understand necessarily why it works. I just know what it works. <laughs> you know, and yeah. that's I'm, I'm getting you to unpack this for me right here. Yeah, no, and I'll circle it back to it, right? Like the manual way to do this is going to be you're gonna to have to pick a hook, you're gonna to have to pick the topic, and then go in and chat GPT and enter all that stuff in. So you have to manually prime the chat conversation in chat GPT every single time you do this. 
So I was mm-hmm. like, well, is there a better and faster way to do that by using the same language model, right? And I'm testing it with chat GPT because now Zapier has two different plugins, right? You have one with OpenAI, which is the, this one specifically, and there's another one to access chat GPT. So the chat GPT one is literally accessing chat GPT. So then you can choose lang- uh, GPT-4, okay? It's a nuance that I'm still testing with. And that's the beauty okay. of this because if you have these there and you're testing them, you can see what the output is without having to physically do it every single time. So I'm trying to automate these manual tasks as much as possible, right? Mm-hmm. Can you, okay, so we do this, it goes into the open AI. Mm-hmm. And then step four, it basically is going to produce the output for you in two places. I have it in Slack so I can get immediate feedback for that specific topic right there. So I get versions, uh, two versions, right? The 30 second and the 60 second. But if I'm doing this and I want it on a, another place to, uh, to review, like for a client or just to kind of review when I'm batching and recording, I also have the output sent to a Google Sheet as well. So the Google Sheet is going to have different columns on it. Um, so one column is going to be, what was the topic that I submitted? Another mm-hmm. column is for the 30 second version, what hook did ChatGPT use? Then what was the script? based off of that topic, that hook, um, that chat GPT wrote in that time duration. There's a 30 second one, and then there's a 60 second one. So I'll see the topic, the hooks that were created for the 30 and the 60 second, and then the scripts that were created for the 30 and the 60 second. 